All right, so recently I was researching buying a new car and I came across the term ACC or Adaptive Cruise Control and couldn't really sort of find a good description of it or a good demo of it or anything. Um, so I decided to make one. Um, I'm driving a VW Passat now, uh, the B8 model from 2016 which has the uh, ACC, the Adaptive Cruise Control, and it also has a fully automatic gearbox, the DSG, which means that this car will brake and accelerate and change gears on its own. So um, let's just give it a spin, and I think we'll probably be able to see how most of it works. Uh, well, fairly self-explanatory. Uh, let me just get onto the motorway here. Obviously not using the cruise control just yet, but as soon as we get out into open spaces, I'll try that. I've set the speed to 130 kilometers an hour, and this uh, lorry here in front of me is obviously going to be going slower than that. So I'll drive out behind it, and now I'm activating the cruise control. You can see down here there's a picture of a Golf on my dash that's indicating that there's a car in front of me, so I can't accelerate up to 130 is what the car is telling me. So now it's doing about 89, and obviously that's a lot less than 130. So if I want to uh, speed up to the set limit I set, I just, I'm just i not touching any brakes or accelerators now, I'm just going to indicate out and the car will accelerate on its own. See the speed go up, up to 130, which is the speed limit where I'm driving uh, on this motor at the moment. So it will go all the way up to 130 and stabilize there. Just indicate back into the other lane. And in a minute or so, I'm going to uh, catch up to, uh, I think it's a Fiat up front. And you'll see once again that it will show down here a picture of a car in the dash to, uh, to signify that here there's a car in front. I'm going to break down to, uh, to the speed of the car in front so that you obviously don't hit into it. There you go. It's detected the car in front. It's gonna start braking in a sec. There we go. You can set the distance uh, yourself, uh, sort of from from one to five ish. And uh, it's uh, as far as I can understand, it's not based on car lengths or anything. It's more based on how fast you're going. So if you set it to three, which is medium, which I, what I've got it on, uh, the faster you go, the the longer that distance will be, of course. So. Um, that's sort of the gist of it and the cool thing is that if you're in really heavy traffic say that uh, traffic in front of me break down to a complete stop you know actually stopped then uh, this car I'm driving here would also break all the way down to zero kilometers an hour and if the car in front then accelerates again within five seconds of my car stopping then this car will automatically uh, restart as well automatically driving and if it's more than five seconds you're, you have to click a resume button on the steering wheel or you've got to tap the accelerator with your foot. So here we go, we come up to the lorry again and it's uh, braking again because there's a car in front. It's pretty great uh, because it means that you can do, um, well, city travel and motorway travel and stuff without uh, really having to touch the accelerator or the brakes a lot. And it takes a lot of the stress out of um, driving in high traffic situations. I drive a lot, I drive two and a half hours every day. And this has really taken a lot of the uh, sort of pressure off of it because you don't have to um, you don't have to change your gears because it's got a DSG, and you don't have to um, you don't have to sort of brake uh, and accelerate all the time because you know motor traffic can be a bit uh, up and down all the time. So um, so that's kind of it. It's uh, should should you buy it for your car? Well, that obviously depends on your budget and stuff. I think a lot of the VWs actually have it as a fairly uh, standard feature, if not completely standard, then it's certainly relatively cheap, and I think the new Tiguan has it as standard. Um, combine that with the active lane assist, you'll have a semi-self-driving car. This one does not have the active uh, lane assist, so I've still got to point the steering wheel in the right direction, so to speak, but that's uh, it's still a big advantage uh, over not having the adaptive cruise control. Um, other uh, car makers call it different things. Some car makers call it uh, traffic aware cruise control, that's Tesla. Uh, there's a Mercedes name for it as well, but I can't remember right now. So there are a lot of different ways of describing what's essentially uh, a radar or sensor assisted uh, cruise control system. Another thing that's good about it is you can actually drive, uh, you can accelerate up to different speeds and so on by using the steering wheel. So now there's a speed limit of 60 kilometers coming up, so I'm just going to set my speed limit here We're using the steering wheel still not touching any of the pedals or anything uh, setting it to, to roughly 60 kilometers an hour which means the car will automatically break down until it hits that speed uh, 
and then there we go. And once we've passed this area where I'm uh, driving comparatively slowly, it, uh, I, I know the speed limit down the end here is about 90, and then I can just uh, set the speed limit up again and the car will automatically accelerate up to 90 again, which I guess is like a regular cruise control system, but the um, the difference here is the car can actively use its brakes to achieve what it wants to do. It works when going downhill as well, so if you know if you set a speed limit uh, that's lower than what the car would sort of roll up to going down a hill, then this uh, will brake as well so you don't uh, exceed the speed limit. So here we go, 90 kilometers now again. I'm going to set my limit up to, uh, to 90 again and uh, the car will accelerate back up to 90. So yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty great. I should maybe mention that the ACC works in most weather conditions. Uh, today is a bit cloudy, so no problem. Uh, rain is usually okay as well. Hail, usually okay. Uh, fog, okay. Uh, snow is okay if it's light snow, but as soon as you get heavier snow where it starts actually piling up on the front of the car, then it becomes a problem, of course, because it actually covers the sensor and you'll get uh, a little orange uh, error indicator in here that tells you that the sensor is impaired and will uh, ask you to take over the handling of the braking and the accelerating again because uh, obviously if it can't see what cars are in front of it, it's not safe to use it anymore, so it will go there. And then you can default back to a speed limiter system so you can set a, a top speed and then just use the accelerator yourself and it won't ex exceed that speed, but it won't uh, brake either, so you've got to be careful of that. Well, that's about it. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, you know, write a comment and I'll get back to you. Uh, again, this is a, the uh, Passat version. There are different versions out there, so I can obviously mostly uh, reply to questions uh, pertaining to the VW uh, version of it.